from 185 yards out for Eagle, Charlie Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, have a look at this one. Yes! You couldn't draw that up any better. <laughs> if you like hole outs, then Saturday's round at the BMW Championship was for you. We've got plenty of them, so let's get right to it. The President's Cup captain's pick nearly made it two hole outs in one day with an almost albatross on 14. Look at this shot I'm by go Charlie in. Hoffman. That could have gone in right oh, there. Man. But let's see some go in, shall we? This is how you start your day. Keegan Bradley from 84 yards to begin his round with an eagle. That's how you start your round. Ryan Moore joined the Eagle party from 71 yards on the 14th. What a beauty! Oh, needed that. Kevin Chapel shot a laser for Eagle on the 7th. Yes, that is beautifully done. While Pat Perez carted a birdie from the beach on 12. And drain it. Hole out Saturday continues here on the Golf Channel. How about this eagle from Ricky Fowler, though? First hole of the day, drove it 322 yards. Yeah, wind coming pretty strong from the left right now, Frank, so this hole play a little longer maybe than earlier. Then just went ahead and finished it off from 24 feet from off the green. Did he? Oh, oh Ricky, excuse me. <laughs> so while he's hitting bombs, why not go driver off the deck? Driver off the fairway, 274 up the hill into the wind. Oh, man. Some of those guys may or may not have gotten a few lucky bounces in those highlights, but this next guy, he sure didn't. I'm sure Siwoo felt pretty bad about this one. This poor Marshall. Ooh. I'm good. Nothing to see here, guys. I'm fine. Oh, my goodness. How's he still standing? Someone in need of a lucky bounce. Stuart Sink is dancing around the bubble and will be in Atlanta next week anyway to accept his Payne Stewart Award. Please. Oh, baby. Bill Mickelson is also hovering around the bubble and needs a top five to lock in his spot at next week's Tour Championship. With a five-stroke lead over Fowler and Jason Day, Mark Leishman has jumped up into the top five in the projected FedEx Cup standings and wants to control his own destiny heading into next week. Only one day left for these guys to punch their ticket into the season finale. So catch all the action on PGA Tour Live beginning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll have your bubble updates on the broadcast and we'll see you again Monday for Trending on Tour.